So I've got a lot of positive feedback from my previous spy how-to videos. So today I've got another one for you. I'm going to show you how to copy a key a couple of different ways actually. The first is quick and easy, but it requires you to have a few materials on hand. So the second way uses only your smartphone and a credit card. Oh yeah, and before I forget, go check out my Facebook and Instagram. Uh, I'm posting pictures and videos of projects before they come out. So I'll go check that out. Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> First, for this method, you'll need access to the key for a short time. You'll also need some scissors, preferably ones you don't really care about, because they might get a bit dull. Also a flathead screwdriver, a dry erase marker, don't use a sharpie, those don't work as well, uh, a soup can, as you can see I've already made a few keys out of this one, which is why there's some cuts, uh, and some clear tape. First we need to cut a small strip out of the can. It should be at least as long and as wide as your key is. Now let's set this aside and grab out our key. First, color the flat side of the key with the marker. Make sure to get all the parts covered. Then, lay a piece of clear tape down over it very carefully. Now, when you peel the tape off, you should be left with a perfect replica of the key. Now, grab that piece of the can and stick the tape to it. And then, cut off the excess tape. Now, we need to cut out our key. It can be done with just scissors, but I'm also going to use a Dremel to make it a bit easier. And there we go, our key is done. Alright, let's move on to the other method. Now maybe you're caught off guard and weren't planning on copying a key, but realize you need to. Maybe you just happen to see it lying there, you need to make a copy for later, I don't know. Whatever, I've got you covered. So here's how to do it with just your phone and a credit card from your wallet, because who the f carries around an expo marker and tape everywhere they go. First place the key on the card and snap a pic. Make sure the picture is not blurry and straight on. It'll take maybe 10 seconds so no one will notice and you're ready to make a copy. Just hop on your computer and download the template from my website. Links are in the description. We're going to be using the card as a scaler. So open up a photo editor and crop out your credit card key picture. And rescale it onto my template. This template is scaled perfectly to 8.5 by 11. So when you print it, make sure it's scaled to 100%. and you now have a perfect copy. It just fits so well. Just cut out the template and tape or glue it to a piece of the can. And cut it out just like in the first method. Alright, let's go test this out. As you can see, I locked my door with the real key. Now let's peel off the tape from the key so it doesn't get stuck in the lock. And put our makeshift key inside the lock. Now if you try to turn it right now, it might rip because the metal's so thin. So that's why we grabbed that screwdriver from the very beginning, and use it to turn the lock. And the door opens right up. It even works on a deadbolt. Although you have to be careful not to rip the key and get it stuck in the lock. Well, now you know how to copy a key quickly, easily, and conveniently. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more cool videos. Alright, that's about all I got for today guys, so I'll catch you in the next video.